Fortnite recently dropped an update that supposedly fixes all the game crashes and FPS drops that everyone's unfortunately been experiencing since the launch of Season 4, but after reading the comments of said update, the update clearly hasn't fixed these issues, so I thought I'd make an entire video guide on how to fix every single issue that's in this video today, so you can run Fortnite without getting any pop-up crashes like this, or any horrible FPS drops or stutters. So if the video does help out, please drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and use my creator code in the item shop or in the battle pass to support me directly. Now let's go ahead and get straight into the fixes. Starting off with running the Epic Games Launcher as administrator to begin with. To do this, you want to head over to your desktop and locate the Epic Games Launcher right here. You then want to simply right click on it, and then click the run as administrator button with a little shield right there. A pop-up will then appear, you want to click on yes, and what this will do guys is it'll obviously run your Epic Games Launcher as administrator, which will give it some extra privileges it normally wouldn't have. And if you actually run Fortnite via this method, it should prevent any future crashes. Just literally launch it from this. Do not click like the button right here on the left hand side. You want to go into your Epic Games Launcher, run it as administrator and launch it from here. That is very important. Next, we want to adjust the compatibility mode for Fortnite by heading over to your Windows desktop, clicking on the file explorer right here. Inside of here, you want to locate where Fortnite is actually installed. And mine is on my local C drive or SSD. You then want to find the Fortnite file, you then want to go on the Fortnite game, go into binaries, then go into Win64, and inside of here you want to scroll down till you find the Fortnite client-win64-shipping.exe, and when you've found that guys, you want to go ahead, right click on it, click on the properties button right there, and then inside of the properties, you want to click on the compatibility tab at the top, and you want to make sure that you select the disable full screen optimizations right here guys, this is very important, you then want to click on apply, press OK, and now when you run Fortnite there should be no crashes whatsoever. Next we want to disable all the startup applications except the Epic Games Launcher. To do this you want to go over to your desktop, you want to go on the bottom left corner and click on the start menu, you then want to type in the following, that's start up apps like so, click on that right there, and then as you can see guys this is all of your startup applications, and you basically want to untick any of the non-important ones, like look, there's a printed one right there that just doesn't need to be um, as my startup application, Epic Games that needs to be on, that's high impact and it's very very important, um, Display Fusion for me that's relating to my multiple monitors so I'll keep that on, but all the rest like Go XLR that can get turned off, uh, GY Station can get turned off, Logitech Hub can be turned off, NZXE Cam can be turned off, Phone Link, Razer, all these can be turned off as they really don't make a difference if they're starting up or not. But all I want to do guys is turn off all these that aren't important to you. Those are important right there. But the main important one right here is to make sure Epic Games Launcher is on. That is very important. And basically all the rest are off if you can manage it. Obviously some of you will need some important ones to stay on. But make sure the Epic Games Launcher one is on. That is very important. Next we want to disable all of the background applications from running in the background. By going over to the desktop again. Going to the bottom left hand corner. Clicking on the start menu right there. And typing in background apps just like so. Click on background apps. That should then open up and inside of here you literally need to press one button which is to not let the apps run in the background and as you can see it instantly turns off all these pretty pointless apps from running the background that can cause your game to crash so make sure all of them are turned off if you aren't already. Next we want to clear all of our temporary files this includes the temp, the local temp and the pre-fetch temp files. Starting off with the temporary files you want to press the following keys at the same time that's windows key plus R. A run box should then appear inside of here you want to type in temp just like so. Once you've opened up that you should see all of your temporary files. Instead of here you want to press control A at the same time that will select them all and then you want to go ahead and delete them just like so. And you might get an error that says that you can't delete some just go ahead and press skip on that and do it for all of them. After that you want to close it down and we want to do the second one which is the local temp files and you want to press the windows key plus R at the same time again. Inside of here you want to type in temp again but this time you want to start it off with percentage signs just like so. Inside of here again you want to press the following command of that's control plus A and that'll select all and then you want to go ahead and delete them. Once you've done that close that down and finally you want to press the windows key plus R at the same time again and inside of the run box this time you want to type in pre fetch just like so with a capital P. This will then open up more temporary files press control A at the same time delete all of those and if the skip message comes up just say do this for all and skip 
and then after that it should be all good to go after that you want to close it down you want to open up the recycling bin on your desktop and finally you want to press ctrl a one more time and delete all of these like so moving on we now want to open up the epic games launcher and in the top right corner of the epic games launcher once it has indeed loaded up you should see your little um, like profile picture right here, which will be the initial of your name. Inside of here, you want to go onto settings right there. And then inside of settings, you want to scroll down to the bottom where it says Fortnite. There should be a little drop down. And then if you actually tick the additional command line argument box right here, inside of here, guys, we can do two different things. We can either launch Fortnite in DirectX 11 or DirectX 12. To launch the game in DirectX 11, you want to type in the following command. That's dash d 3 d 11 just like so that'll launch fortnite in directx 11 and to launch the game in directx 12 it's a similar command it's dash d 3 d but this time it's 12 and that'll launch the game in directx 12. now you're probably wondering which one should you open up the game with and you basically want to open up whichever is not giving you crashes so if you open up in directx 11 and you get a game crash obviously you want to go on to directx 12 which is this command right here, but vice versa, if you open up the game in DirectX 12 and you're getting a game crash, you want to open it up in DirectX 11 by doing um, this command right here. If you've done all that and your game is still crashing, you want to head back over to the Epic Games Launcher. This time you want to click on Library. You want to find Fortnite where the three horizontal dots are. Click on that. You then want to go onto the Manage tab right there. And inside of the Manage tab, you want to click on the Verify Files button right here. And this will verify your Fortnite files, which should remove any sort of corruption that potentially could be going on. Next, we're going to open up Fortnite and change a setting in the Video Settings tab. And to do this, you obviously want to open it up via the Epic Games Launcher, like I mentioned earlier. You then want to go into the Video Settings tab right here. You want to scroll down to the very bottom, and you should see a setting called Multi-Threaded Render. It's very important that this is enabled as Fortnite have recommended on screen right here And if you guys are on performance mode do not worry because you still can enable it even though you can't see it in the performance mode setting You can see obviously it's not in here But it is on like another DirectX uh, setting like 11 or 12 to do it All you have to do is watch this video on screen right here link in the description below Head into your Fortnite config and set the be allow multi-threaded rendering setting to true It should be on false by default I believe next we're going to update the Fortnite anti-cheat by going over to the desktop, opening up the file explorer at the bottom right here, then you want to locate where your Fortnite directory is, mine is in my C drive, and if I type in F you should see Fortnite right there. You then want to open up Fortnite game, then go into binaries, then win64, and then you should see a folder called easy anti-cheat. That is a Fortnite easy anti-cheat uh, folder right there. Then you want to open up the exe, which is easy anti-cheat underscore setup. Just give that and open up. It should say a uh, little pop-up here. Just click yes. And then once it has loaded up, it may take a couple of seconds. There we go. You want to click the repair service button right here. And this will essentially repair the anti-cheat if it has got any issues that are causing crashes for you. Just click the button. It shouldn't take long at all. And boom, after it's installed successfully, you are all good to go. And the final thing you guys want to do to fix any crashes in Fortnite is do something that Fortnite themselves actually recommended. And this is to update or change your NVIDIA driver or whatever. Um, graphics card you're on it could be AMD Nvidia whatever all you need to do is update it or change it and to do this on Nvidia I'm going to open up GeForce Experience which is the app again built into Nvidia where you can change your drivers and stuff I'm just going to quickly open it up right here at the top left hand side you can see the drivers button click on that and as you can see there is a brand new game ready driver that only actually got added very recently it was actually earlier this month so I'm going to go ahead download that get it installed and that should fix all of my crashes if all the other fixes haven't already worked. Obviously at least one of them did work for me guys so this is just a sort of final resort to fix any FPS drops I've been getting but that's what you want to do. You want to try all these fixes. If they've helped out feel free to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and use my creator code in the item shop or for the battle pass to help me out a ton. Catch us all in the next one. Peace.